When the Duke of York first gathered together some start-up businesses five years ago, the word Brexit hadn't even been invented. Good luck. Tonight, his latest group of entrepreneurs with ideas were pitching to a room of business leaders with money. And for all of them, Prince Andrew told us, Brexit should make no difference. The businesses that we see uh, could be successful either inside a large internal market or operating in, in, in an even larger uh, external market. And there's swings and roundabouts to all these sorts of things. Do you think we can survive Brexit? We're going to have to. Yeah. Whatever happens, they're going to have to work through whatever the circumstances that there are out there. The five-year-old pitch at Palace scheme has now created 6,000 jobs. You've got three minutes up there. I'm giving you 10 seconds. Give me your pitch. OK, so basically NeoSlip is an easy device to help older people put their compression stockings on. It's a bit like TV's Dragon's Den, but in a palace, although that's not a comparison the Duke is fond of. No, no, no. Do you not like that? No, well, no right. there are no dragons and no sharks here. I want everybody to work together in order to support these businesses that we are showcasing. And given just last week Prince Andrew had a ringside seat when Donald Trump came to town, what did he think of the state visit? I got a sense that, that it made no difference whether we were staying in, leaving, that, that there was still going to be a, a very close relationship um, with the United States. So in your view, was it a success for both sides? I believe it was a success for both sides, absolutely. The Duke's family, including his ex-wife Fergie, supported him tonight. No update, by the way, on whether that relationship is back on. But Andrew does appear to have hit on a formula to help new businesses Brexit or no Brexit. Chris Ship News at 10, St James's Palace.